All right, hello everybody. Gochin3 here. Hey, I thought I'd make a video here and get to the nitty-gritty on gas rings. I've never seen too many out there, and uh, just a few I saw actually helped me. And uh, my gas rings are fine. But for some of you guys, I'll try to get this close up. We know that these three right here need to be little spaces. There we go. Need to be separated. You know, and uh, depending on what you've learned or researched that they can blow up or have problems and all that kind of stuff. Well, we all have three rings here, which I'm going to show you how to replace. And I bought this. A friend of mine showed me this. I got it off of Midway USA. I'm not here to promote anybody. I just, <clears throat> I know people ask things. Just like I like to ask a lot of questions. Here we go. And this gas ring, what I like about it, is you don't have to worry about checking it every now and then where those spaces got to be separated. This is just one ring. It's three rings, actually, but it's one. Just, let's see if we can get you in the camera there. All right. See that? That's pretty cool. Whatever egghead made this up is making zillions. I should have thought about myself. Anyways, one ring. You don't have to worry about, oh my God, is, are they separated from the spaces so the gas can extract it? <clears throat> None of that. Just one ring. My buddy installed his, and I've seen him shoot it. Not a problem whatsoever. Actually, I'll test mine and get back to you guys. So, this is the ring I'll be putting in, the gas ring. One ring that equals three. It's just one coiled up ring. So, I think that's pretty cool. So, let's get to it so I won't yap here forever. So, get a little small screwdriver. And they usually just kind of just split, push them up in pressure. Watch. Right here, you just push up. See the little indentation? They move up and down. We all know that. So, let's try take this off right here and I'll try to make sure I stay in the camera all right let's see I've actually never replaced them myself so <clears throat> this is gonna be interesting since I don't have anything scripted what you see is what you get uh, let's see all right <clears throat> so I try to push from here if you can see and get this up like this so that way we can uh, get it over this little hump here. Alright, let's see if we can get one right here. It's going to be a little bit of a bitch. Looks a little hard, but I don't think it's that hard. It's just kind of a bitch to get in there. Get these little things off. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> if you could see that right there. I just put the screwdriver in there and just took it out like that. There we go. Let me get this a little further out so you can see. All right, now let's get to number two ring. Just push from the bottom and I just kind of twist. Just play with it. I must have shot, God knows, over 10,000 rounds on my AR here. And it's been working great. All right, that's two rings. This is not too hard. Just a little strange to get in there, especially never done it. So just be careful. So now I'll have these for a backup. There we go. That's three off right there. That's what it looks like without it. Let me clean this mess. Look at that. I'll be going shooting anyway, so just tells you how dirty these things can get in there. It's pretty crazy. Alright. There's your close up of uh no rings in there. That's what it looks like. Alright, and here is our new little friend that we're going to see if I can split it right here so I can show you guys. It's just, it's actually three rings. Just one coiled up. There we go. It's one coiled up three times. What a great idea. How simple. So let's put that on. When you buy this, it really doesn't come with any instructions. <laughs> So for some of us that like instructions like me, well, I guess we just got to kind of play with it. And I'm assuming we're just going to open up one section of it and just start like this. Let's see if I can get that part to hold here and then just follow it up like a slinky, I guess.
It's all these small parts that drive you nuts. Yep, it's going to drive me nuts. I don't know if I can do the whole thing. No, it's going to have to be it's a little hard. It's going to have to be like this. There we go. Oh, shit. All right, if you can watch that. I'm going to hold this right there. And it's my nail. And just follow it down. To start getting it in there. I hope. Yeah, it looks like that's working. So, this is just a... It really doesn't have a name, name, but it just said gas tube. It said a uh, uh, bolt gas ring, one piece, Air 15. <laughs> That's all it said, my friends. So you can find it on Midway USA. I'm sure others uh, sites have have it under different names. Who knows? So this is what I'm doing. I'm just as you're watching. I'm just kind of sliding with this as it just coils in. There we go. That's a pretty good technique, I guess. All right, and that's the finished product. So I'll get back and do another video and take this apart and show you. I'm sure it's going to work. It worked in my friends. And, you know, it's kind of cool now. You know, there's times I would take this apart. I'm cleaning it. I think a lot of guys would probably don't want to go this far. You don't check. So you just sit there and pray that it's, if you're aware of the rings, that these, you know, rings here, there's that little opening, that they're all spread apart. And there's times after uh, I've been to the range, I swear to God, all these rings are on the bolt here, and they're all with that open space together. I'm all, how the hell that happened? If I would have kept shooting, what would happen? So anyways, as we all know, they're supposed to be all different directions. So, kind of a pain if you think, but each time you go shoot, or if the weapon even moves, you know, does it move with it a bit sometimes? So, you know, it starts making you think there. This part right here, well, that eliminates that whole problem now. Look at that. I never have to worry about... Are the rings, the opening separated and everything? It's just one shot. So anyways, I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you have questions, let me know. Click the like button on there. Not preferably the hate button, but hey, there's wackos out there. So keep on making your videos. Helps me and a lot of us out there a lot. And I just thought I'd add this one on to the rest of them. Because uh, like I said, any videos out there help me. Hope this helps you. And uh, you guys have a great day. God bless. Take care.